princess and suffered a concussion at her home on June 23. Following her hospitalization due to a horse-related accident, she's adjusting her schedule. As of July 7, the royal family's website updated the royal diary to reflect changes in Princess Anne's engagements as she recovers. The royal diary details the official activities planned by the royal family members, updated regularly. Over the weekend, Gurut's royals noted that Princess Anne's engagement for the following week was removed from the diary due to her ongoing recovery. Her next scheduled event is now a visit to the NLV Ferros ship off Scotland's west coast, as the patron of the Northern Lighthouse Board, on July 15 and 16. Buckingham Palace announced on June 24 that Princess Anne had a concussion and minor injuries from a horse-related incident at her country home the previous day, leading to her hospitalization as a precaution. The palace stated she was expected to recover fully and quickly. King Charles and the royal family have sent their best wishes for her speedy recovery. The specific details of the accident remain unclear due to her concussion, but the injuries suggest she was struck by a horse. As a result, Princess Anne missed the Buckingham Palace banquet on June 25 and cancelled her trip to Canada later that week, following medical advice. She was discharged from the hospital on June 28, with her husband, Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, expressing gratitude for the care she received. Princess Anne will continue her recovery at Gatcom Park and resume her duties when her doctors approve. Reports indicated she experienced temporary memory loss related to the incident. A lifelong equestrian, Princess Anne competed in the 1976 Olympics and recently demonstrated her riding skills during the Trooping the Colour Parade on June 15. Her daughter, Zara Tyndall, mentioned that horses are a frequent topic of discussion in their family, highlighting their shared passion and involvement in equestrian activities.